Hello and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, then thank you so much for joining me. And if not, then welcome back. Today we are building a townhouse in The Sims 4. So I have never even attempted to build a townhouse in The Sims. Um, I have seen other people do them, but I've never tried to do them. And we're building today in Honeydew Fields, which is a lot that came with Discover University. And I've not played with Discover University too much, so I actually haven't built here before, except for the university lots where I've kind of redid some of the dorms. Um, but yeah, I've never actually built on any of the lots in Brightchester. So I decided, why don't we do a little, like, townhouse? Now... I felt like I was heavily inspired to do one because I just finished watching the Netflix show You and I've been really obsessed with that show like I watched it a while ago when it first came out and then I decided to rewatch it and yeah and now I've watched the newest season that came out like I've already finished it so yeah I'm not gonna give any spoilers don't worry but I was very inspired by that because in the newest season um Joe actually lives he doesn't live in a townhouse but he lives in London and he lives in an apartment and he's very surrounded by townhouses and they, I don't know they just look really fun to build um i also went to london not too long ago and there was lots of townhouses so yeah i was just really inspired i mean not that there isn't townhouses here in scotland i'm sure there is i think there's a lot more in edinburgh like edinburgh's like where i don't know edinburgh's like known for having townhouses i think but yeah i don't know i just i feel like i'm basing this more off of a London townhouse but honestly I was just winging it like I didn't look at any reference photos for this so I was just kind of coming up with whatever was in my brain so it's not really based off of anything but yeah as I have rambled on and on <laughs> I have managed to complete the outer shell of the build pretty much I do end up changing a few things like the windows you can see I feel like it looks a little bit washed out right now because the windows are so light so for the second and top floor I decided to make the windows a little bit of a darker swatch and in the bottom windows I keep white because um I just thought it was nice to have that like variety of different windows they're all the same type of window but I just change the colors but yeah i honestly really like this build i'm really excited to like talk about it and yeah um this video is not too long i tried to make it as short as i could so i did cut out things that i didn't think were important um for example i do not show how like me speed building the bathrooms i don't show that but i do put screenshots at the very end of the bathrooms so don't worry and of course there is bathrooms in the build if you decide to download it don't need to worry about that there is of course bathrooms i just didn't want to put them in the video because the video has been way too long and i felt like the video was already quite long but yeah here i am trying to add window boxes and i just really didn't like them so i do end up adding window boxes but only on the middle floor like the the second floor um but i don't think you see it until the very end because i kind of do the inside and i come back out and i do the outside like just a tiny bit more and then yeah but you know those little trees right there that i just used like those those little trees it took me so long to find those like i had to cut out i think it was like five minutes but five minutes of footage keep in mind um this video is sped up 800 so i don't even know what that ends up being but i was sat for so long just looking for those trees and i couldn't find them like the trees with the little white box at the bottom i did find them eventually <laughs> but i was like i'm not stopping until i find these so did. I believe I built this build in three settings. Um, I started to get really stressed out with the second floor and I will tell you all about it and you'll see why but yeah I started to get really stressed out so this did take me about three settings um, but yeah I think it's worth it because I think it ends up looking really nice. I did add a garage because there was this kind of extra space at the side and I could have added like um 
what's it called like a swing set and stuff but i just thought a garage looked nice obviously you could take the garage away and add like a swing set but yeah now fun fact you may have already noticed <laughs> but that car that i just added is actually a toy car that i sized up to be um a car <laughs> um so the reason for this is because i use the twisted mixy mod which is so good but i haven't updated it and it keeps telling me it needs an update but i just i just haven't done it i'm just like i'm just always like oh i'll do it later i'll do it later and because of that my debug hasn't been working properly because it's out of date um which is my fault obviously so i didn't have any cars um and then i found a car in the like kids section in the kids toys and i was like well do you think i can get away with just sizing this up and putting it outside the garage so yeah there is <laughs> there is a toy car in the garage please feel free to get rid of it if you want to put an actual car there i completely understand like you can put any car you want there um but yeah i actually don't think the the toy car looks that bad <laughs> I can't lie. I think it actually looks kind of cute. And you can also change the color. Like there's a blue swatch. And I believe there's like a darker blue swatch. So yeah. I don't know. Obviously replace it <laughs> if you want to. But yeah. Right now we're doing the outside. What should we call this? Like the garden sort of. Um, Yeah. This is just like a little seating area that they can sit at. And I thought it was really nice and sweet. Um, And yeah. It's one, two, three wait six seats one two three yeah there's six seats there and on the inside there's a dining table that also has six seats um so it should be enough this build as it says in the thumbnail or title i'm not too sure um it does have five bedrooms but this house can hold seven to eight sims i believe that's right i <laughs> i believe that's right but there's five bedrooms so um this is me doing the floor plan but while you know i'm kind of doing that i'm gonna talk you through the bedrooms that are in here so there's a kid's bedroom which holds two kids there's a toddler's bedroom that holds one toddler there's a um parent's bedroom that holds two parents then there's a bedroom for a kid that i thought was in university well maybe like a young adult that's in university um and then there's also a room that i wanted to be like a grandparents bedroom and i envisioned only having one grandparent so i called this a seven sim house however if you wanted to have two grandparents or you wanted to like kind of redo the room um you could definitely have two sims in there so yeah you can have seven or eight it's up to you um there is a study in this house so you could also turn that into another bedroom but i did decide to make it a study because there's nowhere else for a computer to go in this house just because it's kind of cramped so yeah there's a study in this house but you can turn it into a bedroom if you wish but here is the kitchen and the kitchen is a lovely like powdered blue kind of color i i'm obsessed with it i wasn't sure at first if it was too bold a move to go for the blue kitchen but honestly i am obsessed i'm really happy that i did pick that and yeah i thought about making that parenthood fridge blue but i decided it was a little bit too much so yeah um and i also just recently got that kit i think it's a kit it's called the cool kitchen kit I believe and it comes with those little cookbooks and i love them i've been putting them in like every single build so been really enjoying that and then i just put this little table on the other side i wasn't really sure what to put there and i didn't want to put seating just because it's quite a cramped space so there's like an archway right there and i didn't want you to walk into the table i wanted to make sure it was functional so yeah i <laughs> made sure to like do that but anyway the yeah so as i said six bedrooms i believe six bedrooms but can hold seven or eight sims i believe it's six bedrooms kids bedroom toddler bedroom young adult adult and then grandma oh five bedrooms five but can hold seven or eight is that right i don't know i feel like you'll see it more when we get into it but um yeah i just i've been losing track i know that it's for a big family like a big family lives in here so um 
don't worry about like not having enough room because there should be i really hope um but yeah i feel like i spent a long time on the kitchen like i feel like i've been doing the kitchen forever but i don't know i was really happy with the kitchen there is a little bit more that i add in here but i don't put it on video but i end up adding like curtains and with the shelves that we got with the what's it called the um desert lux kit i decided to put some stuff on top so there's kind of like clutter on top of the curtains which i thought was really nice but yeah we are about to move on to the um, dining room i believe and i really really like the dining room it's really cute now i originally was going to put the dining room where i end up putting the living room and then i realized it makes so much more sense to have the dining room at the bay window like it just i don't know why i never thought of that first like that should have been my first instinct put the dining room at the bay window but I do end up putting it there. Now, the um, color scheme for the dining room is kind of like, um, I went for, well, the dining room and the living room is kind of darker wood tones and then like greens. Um, I end up using the rug from the industrial loft kit for the living room and I love it. I actually use that rug three times in the whole build. So I use it once on every, um, once on every floor. But yeah, the living room ends up being really, really small, which I was kind of concerned about just because this is obviously a big family. So I was a little bit concerned because the living room can hold four people. Um, however, there is like a dining table right behind it. So I feel like it's okay that it's a little bit on the smaller side because there's a dining table right behind it. And also all your sims probably wouldn't be in the living room at one time. Anyway, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm playing, my sims don't coordinate at all. And I don't know if it's just me, but my sims don't have a bedtime routine. <laughs> I try and get them to sleep so that they wake up and they actually have energy and then I can get them to like do their tasks. But they be staying up till like 3am. I'll put them to bed, they'll get out of bed. I'll put them to bed, they'll get out of bed. Like they're never in the same place at the same time they never do what i want them to do at the right time so <laughs> i wouldn't worry about it like it is a little bit on the smaller side but i honestly think it's really really sweet and cute so i'm not too mad about it but yeah it is a very small space um but all is good it will all be um like play tested and put in the gallery it's on the gallery right now by the way if you want to download it but yeah everything will be play tested so that i know it's functional <laughs> and you don't need to worry about it working um but yeah as i said i do not show me doing the bathroom so you're not gonna see that but don't be in a screenshot it's all good i just for some reason on the downstairs bathroom i spent ages decorating it and i was like i can't like <laughs> <laughs> there's no point in me putting this in the video i feel like it would have been really boring to watch but here is me doing the hallway and oh my god i was so excited so i added a runner to the hallway and this is the first time that i've added a runner and i've been happy with how it looks i always try and add runners to my builds when there's a bit of like leftover space but this space with a runner just works so well because it's such a narrow, like thin hallway. It just looks so good. So there's a runner on every, um, every floor, but <laughs> I just had to, I just, the opportunity was there. So I had to do it. And then I did this little table and I did use that like little unit thing from the bathroom clutter kit. And I feel like it's a really good thing to not just put in bathrooms, but to put like just like that you know on the sides as a wee decoration so yeah there is a parenthood this little parenthood chart thing here which i've actually never used um in gameplay like i put it in a lot of my builds but i've never actually used it so i'm not really sure how it's supposed to work but it is there um i did raise it up with the nine key so if it doesn't work then just raise it back down with the um zero key in the bracket key <laughs> um but yeah, so this is the first bedroom of the build and this is the parents' bedroom. And the parents' bedroom is on the same floor as the toddler's bedroom, which I thought made so much sense because that way the, you know, if the toddler's crying, then the parents can go and check on them and make sure they're okay and um, 
yeah I didn't put a nightlight in the toddler's bedroom but I actually I don't know if toddlers get nightmares I know kids get nightmares and I know that kids can use the snowy escape bed and it will stop them getting nightmares and I know that they can use the little lamp and that also stops it but I oh actually I think toddlers might get it hmm. <laughs> If they do, you can definitely add a light in. I'm just now thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think I did add one. But it's okay. It's okay. It's a minor detail. It's fine. They're just going to be up all night. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the parents' bedroom. And it's pretty simple. I went for a kind of grey colour scheme. And the curtains in here really did bother me. The curtains in the whole build bothered me, I have to be honest. But it's just because of the shape of the windows. They're so awkward and yeah. I just don't want to talk about it. I if you want to take all the windows away, like not take the windows away, but take all of the curtains away, I completely respect that because I wanted to like take all the curtains away. I just wanted to add curtains in case. I don't know. I just, I don't want it to be incomplete. So I thought I'd add the curtains and then, you know, if you want there to be curtains, then you can keep them and if you don't then you can take them away but anyway this is the office area and I did add an office because I there's no other area for there to be a computer because the bedrooms are so small um so I thought if we do a home office that would be really beneficial because then everyone um can use the computer and it's not in like anyone's bedroom so you're not going to have like sims going into people's bedrooms because I hate it when sims do that um you know they just like wander off into random bedrooms <laughs> because there's a computer in there i was trying to prevent that so yeah i did create this office area and it's really sweet um it's just you know got a computer and then it's got a bookshelf as well um there's a few bookshelves throughout the whole build so it shouldn't be a problem like getting books there's also um the little books on the desk as well so um, even if for some reason that bookshelf wasn't functional, which it should be, there's still like books to the side. So <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, the office is very, very simple, but I think it's very sweet. It's a little bit of a different vibe from the rest of the build because it's darker, uh, but I like it. Now here is going to be the closet. That's what it's called. I kept calling it wardrobe and cupboard. It's a closet. It's a closet. I'm sure that's what it's called. So the closet's just chilling there in the hallway and I done that because originally I wanted to put like a bathroom here where the toddler's bedroom is but I just it wasn't working and I did want another bedroom up here and I knew that I couldn't fit a bathroom in that area where the closet is so I just put a closet there and also I think it's really realistic having closets and another thing that's really good about it it's right next door to the toddler's bedroom and toddlers love cleaning closets so I think that's <laughs> I think that's just really cute um but yeah this is the bedroom and honestly I didn't like it so I do end up like kind of redoing it which you'll see in a second but I did it and then I felt like it looked too much I felt like everything was just I don't know the shape of the room was putting me off as it was but then just where things were were putting me off and yeah I ended up putting the wabbit tablet on the koala bear's like arm which I thought was really cute and then the toy box I put right next to the koala because whenever I was putting things on the kind of slanted walls I just felt like it looked a little bit a little bit odd but yeah I did do this after the hallway which is why if you have a look at the bedroom now it's gonna look the way it did before it doesn't look like that, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> There's screenshots at the end, you can see what it looks like, but it looks like what we just seen. It just I did the I did the hallway because that bedroom was stressing me out and then I came back and done the bedroom. But I just thought I would put the footage together. But yeah, this is the hallway, and as you can see, I added another runner because I s I'm just obsessed. The fact that they look right, I just love it. They make it look like the place is a lot more full. And I've never been able to do that. So yeah. And I do put a tiny one here. I know it doesn't look like it would fit one. But I just put like the wee tiny version in this hallway. Because I thought why don't we make it 
just make it all match and make it clear that that is the hallway but yeah this is the floor plan for the top floor as you can see there's three bedrooms and i pre put in the beds because i didn't want to have to figure it out when i got to it because <laughs> it would have stressed me out so there is a kids bedroom so this is the kids bedroom and it has two beds in it and i was thinking two sisters you can have whoever you like i was just thinking two sisters might be cute and i do replace there i do end up putting a bookshelf there but a different one but i end up replacing it with a wardrobe because i've been trying to put more dressers in my builds uh because i know that a lot of people really um like to use them to change their sims i just use the um, like change output thing or i use mc command center which is why i always forget to add dressers so i've been really trying to include them in my build recently just so you don't need to add them yourself and like take things away but yeah you can feel free to change anything you know like this bedroom is decorated for just sims i had in mind but obviously your sims will have their own personality so if you want to change anything you want to change the colors you want to change the beds like literally anything feel free i just um you know i kind of create bedrooms with families in mind and i think you know maybe you can use them if you like it but if you know if you want to change things there's no problem this is the grandparents bedroom and also see that kids bedroom i just done i did end up taking some clutter away because for some reason it was kind of stressing me out so if you want to add that clutter back like the kind of mess i had on the floor definitely feel free um i just because the curtains have been throwing me off so much, I just, oh, it's really been stressing me out with this whole build. So I just, I've been thinking mode is less when I've been building today. Um, but yeah, this is a grandparents bedroom and I was envisioning just one sim in here, like um, just one grandparent, but you can definitely put in two, it's completely up to you. Or you could even rejig this room, maybe decorate it a little bit differently and you could have this for like a teenager it is completely up to you um do whatever you like now this bedroom is for the young adult and the young adult is studying in university i found out the the only people that can study in university well i'm not sure because i looked it up and apparently young adults can and so can adults and so can elders but then i read another one and it said that only young adults can but i don't think that's right i think they all can but this is for a young adult anyway <laughs> you can kind of tell like they're about that 19 21 ish age i don't know um you know they're young <laughs> um but yeah they're in university so this is actually my favorite bedroom in the house um i know it's a little bit like plain but i, I just love this bedroom and it's definitely my favorite i just love it but we are coming to the end of this video so i just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe because i really really appreciate it i build things like this weekly on my channel so if you have any suggestions then please let me know um i have been thinking about a few ideas like maybe some post-apocalyptic builds maybe some cottage builds but yeah let me know what you want to see thank you so much once again and i will see you in the next one bye